Supreme Court has one Chief Justice and 30 other judges. Judicial system at the top level we have Supreme Court then come High Courts and then come Districts Court. Okay, And this is an independent institution. Though the judges of Supreme Court, they are appointed by the President. Okay. Like, I will give one example. The In uh, Supreme Court, we have one Chief Justice and 30 judges. Okay. And this Chief Justice is appointed by the President and for the and for the appointment of the President, they consult, they consult other judges and these other judges are also appointed, appointed by the, they are appointed by the President and in this they consult Chief Justice, CJI, Chief Justice of India. Once they are appointed, it is very difficult to remove these judges. Children, I told you the procedure for the impeachment of President. Yes, it means the resolution has to be passed by both the houses. And it is not easy to remove the President. Similarly, it is not easy to remove the judges of Supreme Court and High Court. Why this procedure has been made so difficult to maintain the independence of judiciary? Because we want that judiciary should not be included or should not have any contact with the legislature or executive. If any of the member of executive is involved in judiciary, there will be biased decisions. To maintain that independence and impartial decision, judiciary has to be separate, independent from the control of legislature and executive. Okay? Then only people will have trust in the judicial system. Okay? Now, uh, judiciary, they settle disputes. I told you the major function of judiciary is to settle disputes. What kind of dispute they settle? dispute between of the country, citizens of the country, citizens and the government, two or more state governments, government at union and government and state level. Different types of disputes are being settled by our judiciary. Okay. And as I told you that our judiciary is a single unified judicial system. It works as a pyramid. So, now we will talk about different uh, courts, Supreme Court, High Court and then we have District Court. There is one Supreme Court in the entire country and every state has one High Court but there is a possibility that two states can share one High Court. Okay. So, Supreme Court is the apex court. I told you. Decisions binding on all the courts, whatever is being told by Supreme Court, these lower courts have to... <coughs> Except the decisions, Supreme Court can also transfer, transfer high court judges, okay. Even call a case from lower court to itself, okay, from high court. The lower court of Supreme Court is high court. They can call for any case that this case because this particular case involved the substantial question of law or this case involved the interpretation of the constitution. So, such cases are to be solved by the Supreme Court, okay. Then they can transfer a case from one high court to another. So, this can be done by the Supreme Court. Then next to Supreme Court, we have high courts. This is the court of appeal from district court. Uh, cases goes to the higher court and this is the lower court of Supreme Court. They all deal with cases within state jurisdiction. Cases which comes under that state are solved by the, the high court. They also supervises and control lower court. Which lower courts here? The district courts. Okay. District courts, we again deal with local cases of districts, decide serial 
serious criminal cases okay different type of criminal cases civil cases are solved by district courts okay now we'll discuss about the functions and powers of the judiciary what are the major functions and powers the first major function is the power of original jurisdiction what does that mean cases which comes directly before the supreme court it means cases originate in supreme court see generally what happen we have to follow a hierarchy first the case go to the district court if people are not satisfied with the judgment of district court they go to the high court and again if they are not satisfied they can up make an appeal in the supreme court but there are certain cases remember the case of office memorandum when there was a dispute in the country because of the reservation 27% reservation for sebc children do you know i told you at that moment also because the case involved citizens and government the case having involvement of the government goes directly to the supreme court okay so which cases is being heard by supreme court directly it is the disputes between government sent between center and state governments or uh, between two state governments etc okay all the matters between citizens and government also okay that matter of uh, reservation 27 reservation percent reservation was a matter which involved citizens and government so that matter directly goes to the supreme court and in that matter supreme court has original jurisdiction okay next is appellate the word comes from appeal supreme court also it also hears appeals of the lower court which lower court that is high court yes any appeal can go to the supreme court and sometime high court itself certifies that this particular case involves the interpretation of the constitution so such cases goes to the supreme court because it is the right because supreme court is the guardian of the constitution yes all the civil and criminal cases they have they can make an appeal and supreme court has the power of appellate jurisdiction next is guardian of the constitution or we also call it as power of judicial review what is that see if a law is passed by the parliament supreme court finds it out that the law is in violation to the constitution so supreme court can declare that law invalid or unconstitutional okay that is the power because it supreme court is the guardian of the constitution if any law is against the constitution supreme court has a right to declare that law invalid or unconstitutional next guardian of the fundamental rights yes if if any individual 
or government violates any of our fundamental right then we can directly go to the high court or supreme court and demand justice so it is the guardian of the fundamental rights remember i told uh, there is a chapter of democratic rights right to constitutional remedies under that right we can go to the supreme court or high court and demand justice okay another function is the advisory function it is the power of the supreme court that they can give remember i told you can give advice to whom to the president the judges of supreme court can give advice to the president but that advice is not binding on him okay but it is the power he can give advice on any matter of uh, on the interpretation of uh, any law okay next is court of record supreme court also act as a court of record it means all the cases and proceedings which have come in supreme court are recorded so that for in future they these cases these proceedings can be used as a reference so that is why it act as a court of record so children we have discussed some of the functions and powers of the uh, judiciary so this is the last institution or the last organ of the government so children what we have seen in this session or what different kind of questions can be asked from executive and from judiciary like we can ask difference between permanent executive remember permanent the civil servants and political executive that is council of ministers and prime minister question can be asked about the functions and powers of the prime minister that we discussed we have discussed all the points of functions and powers of the prime minister we discussed about the president yes how he is appointed i told you he is appointed through a system known as electoral college which consists of elected members of lok sabha and rajya sabha and the state vidhan sabha okay and the procedure of the removal of the president is known as impeachment that again can be asked as one marker question and then we discussed about the uh, functions and powers of uh, the judiciary first we discussed about the functions and powers of the president we discussed executive functions legislative function financial functions judicial functions emergency powers of the president and i told you that each and every single power can be asked as a separate question and then we talked about supreme court i told you <coughs> how the judges are appointed who appoint the judges of supreme court and high court and then we discussed these major functions and powers of the uh, supreme court and so with that we discussed about the three major institutions we have seen how they work they are working we have seen in the form of their functions and powers the three major institutions or three major organs that we have discussed legislature to make laws executive to execute the laws and finally we discussed about judiciary who settles the disputes thank you now subscribe to bright duty course at rupees 1 per day only download bright duty app from play store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes 6 to 10 bright duty courses are available for the subjects of math science social science english and hindi in english and hindi medium 
Bright Duty follows three-step approach that is learning, assessment and exam preparation. In learning, topic-wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions. In assessment, topic-wise online MCQ test, practice assignments and chapter-wise question bank are available with the solutions. In exam preparation, previous year's question papers, sample papers and model test papers are available with the solutions. Sign up today on Bright Tuesday and avail your courses at affordable prices.